Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca Ramsdale and I film fashion videos. If you'd like to, please feel free to subscribe and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Today I am bringing you guys a review of the Uniqlo U Fall Winter 19 collection that just launched today. I went down to the mall earlier this morning, picked up a bunch of pieces and wanted to show it to you guys. I'm going to walk you through all of the pieces that I picked up, details on all of them, prices, all that kind of thing, and I will show you all the pieces on body. The first item I'm going to show you guys is the padded parka. I picked this winter jacket up in black, but it is also available in beige and dark gray. It has a super nice oversized fit, which is something I look for, especially for winter. It gets so cold here in Toronto, so I like to be able to layer a ton of clothing underneath just so I don't freeze to death. This jacket is made with a polyester fill, so if you're vegan or are looking to avoid any sort of animal byproducts, this is a great option for you. This jacket costs $179.90. The next coat I'm going to show you is the Jersey Belted Chester Coat. I picked it up in brown, but it also comes in black and beige. My original first impression of the jacket was that the brown color looked quite different from online. I'm not sure if that was just the lighting in the Uniqlo store, but after getting it home, it looks a little bit more true to color. This jacket has no front buttons and is described as being quite gown-like in the way that you're, you can throw it on. It comes with a belt to cinch it in at the waist. I find the fit of this jacket to be quite flattering. I am quite a fan of like a trench style jacket. It really elongates the body and then having that cinched in waist is definitely a flattering fit. This jacket could be dressed up or dressed down. I could also see many people wearing it almost as like a long cardigan style, wearing it indoors and just tying the belt around the back rather than wearing it specifically as an outdoor piece. And the Chester jacket cost me $149.90. The next jacket I picked up is the Wool Blend Peacoat. I picked it up in beige, but it's also available in gray and olive. It has a padded polyfilled lining for extra warmth and the outer shell is 41% wool and 59% polyester. I was really quite interested in this coat because I don't really own anything very similar. I'm typically drawn to more of a trench style jacket, a little bit on the longer side with the belted waist. So I thought this would be a nice and different addition to my wardrobe. When done up, I kind of like the look of it almost being a pea coat that's just had the bottom cut off of it. It is oversized through the shoulders and arms and then tapers in a little bit at the waist, giving it more of a unique fit and not something that you would typically see when looking for a pea coat. When I was first looking at this coat online, I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about it. In the photos, they only have it styled closed, but I actually think it looks better styled open so you can kind of see the layers underneath and you would almost wear it as like a, a blazer, but one warm enough to wear outside. I'm a huge fan of doing a lot of layering, so I think this piece will be great to transition into fall winter. I'm also excited to have a wool coat in my collection. A wool coat is something that, oddly enough, I've wanted for a really long time and have just never gotten. So this will be a nice fun change up for my outerwear. The wool pea coat cost me $199. Moving out of the outerwear, the next item we have is the oversized striped long sleeve shirt. I picked this one up in light green, but it's also available in off white as well as blue, all with the same striping detail. The shirt is based off of a men's tailored shirt, but just made oversized. It has a drop shoulder and is kind of your typical oversized button down shirt. I was really drawn to this one just because I liked the green color. I think it's a really nice change up from the usual white or blue shirt that I always wear. And this shirt is 100% cotton and is $49.90. The next item I got isn't a part of the launch from today, but it is a Uniqlo U item. This is something that they stock a little bit more regularly, I think because of its basic nature. It is the sweat pullover. I picked it up in the light gray color, but it also comes in off-white, black, light orange, and cream. It is a relaxed boxy cut crew neck sweatshirt with a little bit of a higher neck than usual. Shockingly enough, I'm like the queen of sweatshirts, but I didn't have a plain gray crew neck sweatshirt, so I was excited to pick this up. These sweatshirts are 100% cotton with the ribbing detailing being 88% cotton and 12% polyester. The next item are the wide fit curved jeans. These jeans I have in a washed out black, but they're also available in an off-white color, which was launched today as a part of the Uniqlo U launch. And then they also come in three different shades of blue denim. These jeans are an interesting fit because they're quite high-waisted and then the leg actually curves, which is meant to visually lengthen the legs. 
I typically wear a size 4, but they only had these ones available in a size 6, so I picked them up anyway. They're a little bit oversized, a little bit big through the waist, but I think because of their naturally oversized nature, doesn't really matter, and they kind of look like they're supposed to be that big. I have been seeing quite a few companies doing the curved leg pant for fall winter so I'm excited to see if that continues on and more brands start making curved leg pants because I do actually think they're quite flattering. The jeans I picked up for $49.90. Another pair of curved leg pants. These aren't jeans but they're pants. They're like trouser pants. These ones again they have the curved leg. They are the same style as the jeans, just done more like chino style. I have them in the black, but they also come in beige, brown, and dark brown, and they are 100% cotton. Again, like the jeans, they cost me $49.90. The last item I want to talk about is probably the item that I've worn for the longest. It is the men's crew neck short sleeve t-shirt. The Uniqlo U t-shirts are insane. They're such a thick and rugged feeling fabric um, and that specific texture for the t-shirts was vintage inspired which is pretty cool. They are an oversized fit with a bit of a drop shoulder. They're made from 100% cotton and are offered currently in 10 different colors. They do make these tees also in a long sleeve version but I've only worn them in the short sleeve. I will typically buy a men's medium and I'll cut the bottom off to make it more of like a cropped wide fit which I think is a lot of fun and it's kind of easier to tuck into pants because then you don't have all that extra fabric. That being said I don't find the regular fit of them to be too long. I just I just like cutting the bottom off of them. But those t-shirts will cost you $14.90 and I highly recommend them. Those are all the items I picked up from the Uniqlo U Fall Winter 19 collection launch. I'm super excited about all the items that I, that I got. I am kind of excited to hear that items were selling out because I feel like it is such a great collection and I feel like they all should be getting worn essentially. Having more thoughtful basic items I think brings more interest to outfits. If you want to wear something a little bit more simple, having design elements like a curved leg I think definitely elevates a look. And I definitely think this Uniqlo U collection with Le Mer um, is awesome and I'm hoping to see it continue on. The fabrics are definitely luxurious feeling and it definitely feels like you're paying very little for very premium items. Everything from the Uniqlo U collection that I've had so far has worn really well, washed really well, so I'm not really expecting anything different from this launch. I'm just hoping that Uniqlo U continues to put out more collections and I can get my hands on them. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any thoughts, feelings, whatever, please leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next one.